Hi Verena, my name is Calvin. I am part of the Rocketship SEO team and I will be reviewing your website today to show you what is working and what is not. I wanted to shoot you this video and give you three tips on how we can beat your competition online. So just give me five minutes of your time and I'm sure I'll show you how you can have your website rocketing off in no time. The three things that I want to go over with you real quick today is content, citations, and links. These are some of the most important factors aside from actual organic traffic metrics such as bounce rate, um, which bounce rate is a track metric that shows if your website answers the question that the searcher is looking for. So the first thing I want to go over with you is content. Looking through your website, I can highlight everything here. So everything that you can see here is considered content. So that's the first thing I want to talk to you about. And I can see that you guys have about 930 words of content right on your front page that Google can see. Anything that I can highlight is considered content, as I mentioned. That includes your pictures, what's behind them, and also uh, what you save your pictures as is considered content. So Google really likes to see a lot of high quality and unique content. I would recommend uh, trying to stay around 1,500 to 2,500 words on your front page that are keyword rich and make sense. So the second thing I want to go over with you is citations. I'm going to go over here to search and I searched Mammoth Lake Realtors. Now as you can see you have a lot of ads right here and then underneath the ads you'll have what's called the map pack or that's what I like to call the map pack. And how do you get in there? Well this this has a lot to do with citations. There's a lot of different factors that go in the, there um, but in order to get to the top three uh, you're gonna need citations. And citations of course are basically your name, address, and phone number listed throughout the web in various directories. So I put up your Google Place card here on another page. And so this right here, so this would be your exact business name, your exact business address, and your exact business phone number listed throughout all sorts of different directories. So I did a comparison based off of this search here. And I compared you up against Coldwell, uh, Coldwell Banker and uh, Remax. And what I found was that you guys actually do have more citations than them. But there are some citations um, that you're missing out on. And I noticed that some of those are citysearch.com, homes.com, whitepages.com, hotpads.com, local.yahoo.com, and realestate.com. There's many more, but those are some of the ones I felt were kind of important that every, you know everybody seemed to have. Now, some of these uh, directories, they do cost money. So I can understand you know, if you're not in it, you know, if you didn't want to pay the extra cost, but that overall will help your visibility your website visibility all throughout the web by having more citations so last thing I want to talk to you about and one of the most important things is links so that has everything to do with this section right below the maps and we call that the organic section and a Google study uh, from last year 2016 says that 72 percent of people that are using the, the search engines are actually cl clicking on the organic section down here so what does this have to do with links? Well, the web is made up of all sorts of different websites that are linking to other websites, but not all links are created the same. So having this, having a real estate company or a real estate blog out of California or a surrounding state that's linking back to your website, saying that you guys are a legit company, you guys are a real estate agency, this is gonna do a lot more good for your website than let's say a pizza shop that's linking back at you guys, because you guys aren't selling pizzas and it has nothing to do with real estate. So that's what I mean by having more relevant links that are pointing back at you guys. I did a search for you guys over here on AREFs. This is a tool that gives me an idea of what your rankings look like. So your website definitely has some decent rankings and domain authority, um, but you guys are definitely lacking in the trust. Uh, I see that you guys do have uh, a lot of keywords that you guys are getting found for, and you guys are getting some decent traffic, um, but maybe those keywords aren't exactly the the ones that are going to convert into sales so I can actually take a look at your keywords and see what most of your traffic's coming from and this just gives me an idea if I view, view this full report here this will tell me that a lot of your traffic comes from Mammoth Village condos for sale and then it just kind of spreads out from there um, you got you know Timber Ridge condos for sale Mammoth condos for sale Mammoth Estates um, if I look at the volume, I can see that you know some of the higher volume search, uh, key terms that you're getting found for Mammoth Lakes, California, um, West End Mammoth, Juniper Springs Resort, 
Mammoth Real Estate. So Mammoth Lakes Real Estate. So there's some pretty good keywords. Now let's take a look at some of your competition. So here is uh, one of the one of your competitors here. So they they actually don't have as high as a rank as you do. They do have some decent trust flow, uh, but I mean th their site could use some help as well. But if you notice that they're getting a lot more traffic, so why is that? If I go in here and check out their organic search, I can see some of the top keywords that's bringing them traffic. So mammoth homes for sale. So that's a really big one here apparently. So I did a search for mammoth lake homes for sale. And I noticed that you guys are not on the front page for that one, but you guys are on the second page. You guys are right at the top of the second page for that one. So the SEO people that you have been working with, uh, they, I feel like they've been doing a pretty decent job. I'm not sure what, what the contract details are uh, between the two, but uh, it seems like they're doing a decent job. Maybe just look into getting uh, some better keywords or um, key terms that are going to convert into sales. So. I uh, went over with you guys today the, the three things that you need to do uh, to start beating out your competition on the web. And if you liked what you've heard, you can give me a call. My name is Calvin, and my number is 619-602-9109. Once again, my name is Calvin, and my number is 619-602-9109. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to your call.